Welcome back to ETV. Well, two new movies hit theaters this weekend. Sean the Movie Guy has details. You have returned for a reason. You have come far. And now your journey lies beyond. The third installment of The Chronicles of Narnia hits theaters this week. The Voyage of the Dawn Treader finds Lucy and Edmund returning to Narnia with their cousin, who's not at all happy to be there. Where is the famous ally? You're on the Dawn Treader. Ooh. Was it something I said? Prince Caspian joins them as they run across some old friends, as well as dragons and dwarves and lost warriors. Hey look, families and fans of the book series will be happy enough, but I found The Chronicles of Narnia, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader to be a bit lifeless. Certainly not the motion picture event of the holiday season, as the trailers proclaim. Enemies. I'm fine. That's a terrible name. <laughs> it's the only one I've got. Maybe we can find you another. Okay. For the grown-ups, Angelina Jolie and Johnny Depp team up for The Tourist, the story of a woman who's being followed by the police because she has ties to a criminal that they're trying to catch. She approaches a random stranger to throw the police off the criminal's trail. Let the mayhem begin. I'm sorry, I got involved in this. Why are you involved? It's got lovely twists and turns and good action and romance. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an interesting story, a thriller, but with this modern day take on it. And that's what's new at the movies this week. I'm Tommy Bright, the movie guy for ETV. And Sean, the movie guy, tells us a little bit more about the new movies. Not a big fan of the Dawn Treader, are you? Yeah, you know, it's, I like the first Chronicles of Narnia, but I don't think the sequels have been that great. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they're still making them. I just think they're kind of mediocre movies by this point. So. <laughs> Out. <laughs> anything uh, in store for us at the Flicks? Uh, good stuff at the Flicks in particular. Uh, they haven't changed anything, but 127 Hours, which I think is a really good film. James, James Franco. Franco. Yeah, he's going to get an Academy Award nomination. I think it's very good. Just check that out. They also have The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest, for those of you who are fans of the Steve Larson book series. So. And as far as DVDs? New DVDs. So the big one, of course, is Inception. Uh, go back and check it out and see if what it was that you missed the first time around. But they also have Shrek. And I know we've got some great theater on tap this week also. Right, over at uh, Music Theater of Idaho, we have the final weekend of Cinderella, the fairy tale brought to life at the Nam Pacific Center. Features Rogers and Hammerstein's classic score. A lot of great family fun. Final weekend, so go get your tickets at 468-2385 or online at mtionline.org. At Boise Contemporary Theater, they have True, a one-man show about one of the 20th century's most colorful and controversial figures, Truman Capote. You can get tickets and information there at bctheater.org or 331. 9224. Now, moving on to the Holiday Place, and there are a bunch of them. Boys and Little Theater has White Christmas, the stage play that's based on the movie. Features great music and dancing, including Irving Berlin's White Christmas. Uh, tickets and information at 342-5104 or online at boiselittletheater.org. Stagecoach Theater has a Christmas twist, a holiday parody of A Christmas Carol, an Oliver Twist, and more. It's good, silly holiday fun. Tickets and information 342-2000 or online at stagecoachtheater.com. And speaking of A Christmas Carol, Dickens' holiday classic is on stage at Knock'em Dead Theater. Tickets and information 385-0021 or online at kedproductions.org. Now for the kiddies, Starlight Mountain Theater has a double act, Santa's Holiday Hoedown and I'll Be Home for Christmas. It's playing at their temporary new home at the Limelight, which is at 3575 East Copper Point Drive in Meridian. Tickets at 462-5523 or star starlightmt.org. And last but certainly not least, our friends at Prairie Dog have Larry Potter, a center of the Boy Wizard and other pop culture fair. Weekends through January 8th, you can get tickets and info at pdplayhouse.com. Wow, sounds like some really great holiday theater to get you into the Christmas spirit. There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's also another great holiday show that's coming to town. It's the Rockettes, and we have the privilege of interviewing the Rockettes coming up right after this as ETV continues. Get ETV Entertainment Television 24 hours a day when you log on to etveverywhere.com.